Hi, welcome to Your Black World News. I'm your host, Roosevelt Mitchell III. So the federal government has yet to respond to a group of armed men who has taken over a federal building in Oregon. An armed group currently occupies a federal building over a rancher dispute. And they state, if force is used against us, we would defend ourselves. The militia Occupy Oregon building is a group of armed men who say they are standing up against the tyranny of government. The group is led by Ammon Bundy, who is the son of Cliven Bundy, whom, if you remember, in 2014, had a standoff with federal government over cattle grazing. It's suspected that the group is composed of dozens of men. Bundy states that the facility had been the tool to do all the tyranny that has been placed upon the Hammonds. And the Hammonds being the case of the two ranchers, Dwight and Stephen Hammond, over public land. And they had recently been sentenced. And this militia reached out to them. And they was considering being sheltered from the militia and not going to prison. But word got to their attorneys that they should not associate with this militia but to go ahead and do their prison terms so that's exactly what's going on so everyone is wondering um where is the national guard so this has a lot of black people questioning the government you were slow to move on some armed men who's taking over a federal building but yet you was quick to show up in ferguson with smoke bombs and tear gas and shields and the national guard same thing in Baltimore. You was quick to show up and show out with the National Guard with tanks and all of these things. So why are you so slow to respond to this situation? And then for the Hammonds to receive word, for their lawyers to receive word and for them to say, stay away from that militia. So yet you know the militia exists, but yet you are not doing anything about it. It just makes no sense how they can get this off, but... Black folks can't even peaceful protest without being harassed or without being, you know, taken to jail or without it being a big deal from the National Guard to where it's provoking. So I would love to hear what you think about this. So please leave a comment in the section below. And until next time, my friends, be blessed and be encouraged.